Hello everybody, this is Narada Rishi Raja with Sacred Vibes Holistic Center and I'm here with your Lightworkers card pull. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we've got for the day. We've got the King of Cups. So the King of Cups, this is a really, really important card to me specifically. I relate a lot with this card. Um, before I learned the tips, tricks, techniques that I teach everybody now, um, you know, yoga, meditation, breath work, all of these wonderful things. Um, I was the king of cups out of balance, meaning my emotions were too strong. I felt everything too much. Being a highly sensitive and empath um, and a, a straight masculine in, in the world today, you know, it's it, those things aren't encouraged, the feelings. So, you know, when you have that intensely, it's really, really hard to figure out what to do with it. This is what pushed me into um, the study of Eastern philosophy. I'm going on at least about 19 years now. Um, and this is what pushed me into it to learn how to manage all of those things. And that's exactly what the King of Cups does. Even though there's storms raging on behind him, he is completely calm in all states, right? In this, this life, all we can do is wait. Everything's predetermined. Everything's written out. Yes, we have to keep making decisions to better ourselves, but why? Because the only real decision that we have is whether or not we want to feel pleasant or not. And if we're not consistently bettering ourselves, we won't feel pleasant. We have to grow in order to feel pleasant. That's how it works. When we stop growing, we start dying. This is just the, the take of it, right? So we have to get really uncomfortable or really comfortable no matter how uncomfortable it gets. The better we're able to do this, the better we're able to manage everything. We're able to manage our focus, which means we're able to then decide where we focus, which means we're able to choose what we perceive and what we create, not based off of reactions, not based off of previous programs, not just based off of the tides of chemicals in your body, based off of a thought that is created simply from a pattern that it wants to recreate the neuropeptides it's already gotten used to having, right? This is how people get stuck in their traumas. Traumas. Yes, I say traumas like this, and I know it upsets people, but I say traumas like this because when we say trauma, we give it another name and we build it up higher. It's really just an experience we perceived as negative we decided to hang on to. That's why I say traumas. So all of these things, they, they will feel deeper and they will feel more impactful if we don't maintain and uh, obtain this balance. This is gained through daily mindfulness practice, that DMP, each and every day. We can't do it occasionally. We can't say we meditate once a week and we're a meditator. I'm sorry, that is a good place to start. And, and yes, by all means, go for it but you're kidding yourself. That's why I almost say, don't even start there, <laughs> truthfully, because you'll be kidding yourself. Then you'll think you're spiritual. You'll think you have discernment. You don't. With that, um, know that wherever you're at is completely okay. It is, but if you don't feel calm in the storm, if you don't feel like everything is like this, then that's your cue that your daily mindfulness practice isn't where it, where it should be for your system. I can't tell you how much. You can tell you how much. Based off of how rocky is the water feeling. Yeah, the waves are going. If it's feeling rocky though, we need more daily mindfulness and practice in our life. If it's not feeling as rocky, even though we see the, the chops in the water, right? We see those white caps. If it's not feeling rocky, even though we see those white caps, we know we're moving in the right direction. So I'm not even saying you have to go get a guru. You know, you are your own guru. And if you have a good, good guru, he's going to teach you how to be your own. He's going to empower you or she, either way. They are going to empower you, right? So with this, pay attention to the waves underneath your feet. Start to become your own guru. 
And when you become your own guru, you can decide if you need training from somebody else. You can decide what it is that you know right now, what it is that you don't. You can decide what it is you can learn and you, 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 you don't have the energy to learn right now because we can learn anything, right? You can make these decisions, but you have to start it. And that's how we'll start calming the waves. We have to take accountability for, those, for our management, even though there's waves. All right, everybody. That's the message that we have for you today. I hope this helps. Um, if y'all want to schedule a session with me, tarot, numerology, breathwork, meditation, yoga, prana energy healing, Tibetan sound healing, and I have a whole lot more services coming down the line as soon as we open up this holistic center in November. It's going to be Sacred Vibes Holistic Center, 513 Garfield Avenue in Bay City, Michigan. I hope to see each and every one of you out there. Um, we're just trying to raise the community and get everybody moving and including a little bit more sacred vibrations in their day-to-day, -day, each and every day, exactly how much that they're ready to do. All right. Have a great day on purpose. I love you all. Thank you. Namaskaram.